you know, like if I look at most of you, you must have had your teenage years, 20 years back, 30 years back, some of you, right? So 20 to 30 years back. I had my teenage more than 40 years back. So like so much of things has changed in the last, uh, if you can say a couple of decades that unless we understand this change, you know, we cannot understand the teenager's mindset. Now, often we are looking at the teenagers and wondering why they, why can't they be like how I was in my teenage, right? That's a thought that goes on into the parents' mind. Like I was never like this. You know, I, I also went through life. I was never like this. Why is my teenage son or daughter behaving like this? So you need to understand the changes, the environmental changes that have occurred in the last couple of decades. So I will lay out the, a couple of three or four environmental changes, which has really impacted the teenage world. That's the first thing we're going to take a look at. Second thing we'll take a look at it is what are the characteristics of a teenager? How do you define is it in the sense of what is the changes that have come about in them compared to what they were as children? You know, as children, they had certain traits, certain personality uh, behavior, which was uh, manifesting. But as a teenager, something drastically has changed, right? So what are the changes that come about as a teenager? So if we can understand the characteristics of a teenager, we can very well relate to them, right? That's the important point to understand their personality. What's a teenage mind, right? What's a teenage mind? So that is the second section I'm going to be dealing with. And the third section, which is kind of what I can say is the core area, one of the core areas of today is how do we actually emotionally connect to a teenager, right? That's what we all struggle with, you know, like how do I connect to my son? How do I connect to my daughter? Like, because that emotional bonding in that particular age is very, very vital. You know, all parents understand that, you know, we have raised the children, they've come up to 13, they've come up to 14. Some parents believe that, you know, by the time they are 14, they're all adults, they can take care of themselves. No, it's not really true, right? Teenagers need parental guidance until they are standing on their own feet, you know, earning on their own or finish their education. Until then, it's very much needed. And at times, I believe that, you know, teenage is when parental guidance is needed more, you know, in the sense of because now we can talk to each other as a one-to-one -one kind of a person. So how do we actually communicate with them? Because often parents struggle in the emotional connection and emotional connection only comes through emotional communication. So there's going to be a large section I'm going to be devoting with what exactly do you tell a teenager, what not to tell a teenager, how to criticize, how to praise. So these are the very core elements of today's session that I'm going to take a look at. Then we'll move on to take a look at what are the needs of a teenager? Because every teenager has got needs which were not there as a child. No, these new needs have developed. So as an adult, as a parent, can I understand their needs? So what are the broad needs of a teenager? And then I'll bring in another core section where we look at how should adults be around teenager? Now, what's the adult's role? Sometimes adults do get confused about their roles. You know, until now, they have been dealing with their children in one way. Suddenly, the children seem to be very from a different world. You know, They're not listening to me. They're back talking to me. Right, all this thing comes in and adult's role has to change, you know, because the child has changed. So if the adult role doesn't change, there's going to be a lot of conflict. So I'm going to bring in a four or five points about what is the role of an adult in a teenager's life. And I'm going to end the session by looking at two main skills that an adult has to teach a teenager. Either he himself or she herself teaches the teenager or she ensures that somebody else, if she if the parent thinks that, no, I, I do not know how to teach these skills, can they kind of bring in a guide or a mentor to teach them these very vital two skills that teenagers need? Because if they have these two skills, I believe that they can cope with a lot of uh, negativity or neg failures that life throws at them. So this is going to be the broad uh, outlay of what we're going to do in the next two and a half hours.